Welcome back to Social Club. We're here this time to talk about Memphis Depay and a possible move to Everton Football Club. I'm joined by Barry from Toffee TV. Baz, I want your opinion on this first and foremost, mate. Um, we saw a, an interesting tweet last night from Everton's social media guy. I know Martin Stecklenberg was playing in the Holland game, wasn't he? But they were keeping tabs on all the internationals and stuff. And he tweeted half time in Guinea in the host lead at Yannick Balassi's DR Congo 1 0. Elsewhere, Memphis the Pie has put Holland ahead versus Luxembourg. And then basically, Twitter went mental about you going to sign Memphis the Pie. Do you think that's going to happen? Cumans. Uh, confirmed that he's interested in him so obviously this has all rolled into that story hasn't it you know he's asked about him the other day there's been talk over the last couple of weeks really the pie's been linked a few times someone at the uh, social media side of Everton decided to be a little bit mischievous and put it out there I went searching for the tweet later on and gone mm. so it's one of, listen he's not getting any football at Manchester United he came in a, a blaze of glory Everton Roberto Martinez tried to sign him before he went to Manchester United Everton had watched him for a number of months obviously he went to United at the time hasn't really pulled up any trees there things only scored seven times for United play with loads of potential but hasn't shown it so he's Dutch he's, he potentially will be available in January for a loan to start with Makes perfect sense. Is it the type of player that you want to see Everton being linked with? Because Koeman's kind of flip-flopped on him, hasn't he? I mean, I know that last year, was it last year or the year before, he'd said, and I, and I quote, I always work with a list of five specific qualities, skills, tactics, physique, attitude, personality. I did not get any higher with my average rating than 5.6 out of 10. Uh, and you know what brought the rating down most of all? Attitude. The rating for his personality. It is only because of the fact that I could not go any lower than zero out of ten. Otherwise, I would have rated him well below that. He was disgusted at the time when he was scouting him. I think he was playing for FC20 at the time about his language to fellow professionals and shouting at people in the crowd. And he's flip-flopped now, hasn't he? And it's something that, you know, as a Man United fan, Liam, is that something you've seen from Memphis? Or is that, I mean, I've is, seen is, is limited stuff game? from Memphis. He's been, from what the, the small amount that I've seen of him, uh, it's been stopped and starting. I haven't seen any of the what you're talking about shouting at the crowd and whatnot. But then again, if you go to Man United, someone's going to slap the shit out of you and tell you not to do that anyway, aren't they? You, I think his attitude had to change to come to your bigger club. You know, disrespect to twenty, like, but they, it had to change. And Van Hal had him a slap in the back of the head and told him to stop it. If, I, I assume that's what happened. But I haven't seen enough of him playing to to make a, a valid opinion on his on his ability. I think it's more about his attitude, really. I know I know that he has a reputation to be very arrogant important 20 cars or whatever he hadn't even signed his contract and these important cars in from from holland you know st stupid shit like that it's not very professional his attitude but as i say i think <clears throat> i think a loan move to everton is probably the best for all parties concerned isn't it it gives Mourinho a little bit of a little bit of time to see him without having to play him mm. and everton are crying out for a winger like that at the minute aren't they and let's see i don't know but uh, the jury's still out for me on his actual ability but I think there's no better place to go because Everton are flying at the minute, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Like, so there's no better place to go if he's going to get game time. I suppose he'd be learning from a Dutchman and a Dutch legend in Ronald Koeman as well, wouldn't he, Robbie? Is that mm -hmm. something that you could see Koeman sort of develop in his career? Yeah, and, and you can see with Koeman, he's a disciplinarian. You know what I mean? So he's not going to take any rubbish. He's not going to be able to talk like he's some big-time player to Koeman because he's done it. Koeman's done it at the highest level, yeah. or played at Barcelona, etc. So I'm sure he would learn a lot. He has got ability, but like you said, he hasn't shown it. And yeah. I think his attitude, I don't know, from the very first day when I see him turn up at United, you know, he's, he's turned up like he's a superstar yeah. already. You know, he thinks he's Christian. Before he's Ronaldo. even kicked the ball, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? And I'm like, do something first. Yeah. Then you can do all the rest of the stuff. Nobody cares then. But when you come with that attitude like, you know, you, you know you're balling already, you haven't yeah. really done anything, you know, then the fans are expecting that you need to match that on the pitch. Do you know pitch, what? Having said that, though, in fairness to him, <clears throat> we were talking off camera about, uh, about the last time he actually performed. Was it, I can't even remember who it was. At Bruges, FC Bruges, in the qualifiers for the Europa League or whatever it was. And uh, he had a great game there, but only because the week beforehand he was really criticised and people were calling for to sell him there and then because it was still during the transfer window. And he came out and he performed really well. So maybe a kick up in the arse is what he needs. And maybe going to, going to Everton and, like, you, like you're saying, Koeman doesn't, won't take any nonsense from him. Maybe that's exactly what he needs. Uh, mm. You know, as a Liverpool fan, and we did a lot of, a lot of research into him when he, before he moved to Manchester United. He was linked with us as well, wasn't he? I think mm. he was linked with Arsenal as well mm. at the same time, wasn't he? And we looked into him and his record in Holland was phenomenal. 
and you're looking at him and the flashes that you can see and, and I know everyone looks great on the machine <coughs> but the skills that that boy's got you know yeah, again we were talking yes. off camera quick feet he's lightning mm. fast he looks to, he looks to get, get and he's direct he looks to get goals looks to get assists takes free kicks it kind of if he gets it working I'm sure he can do it in the Premier League Baz and you know I want to I want to know from you is that something you want to see Everton pursue or are you, are you fed up with taking Manchester United cast-offs? <laughs> well, well Listen, we, we need all the good players we can get. That's what that's that's how you improve as a club. We've got a couple of wingers there. We've got Gerard Delafeu, who for me is a similar ilk. He's, on his day, he's phenomenal, but he just doesn't produce it. Ken Morales, for me, time has come for him to go now. I think he's, he's a waste of space. Um, Lennon. It's just Aaron Lennon. So someone like the five. It's just Aaron Lennon. Well, no, he's a hard worker, but he's not getting in the team, and, or, and it, it's been good. like that since we got him. He's he had a good run at the end of last season. He did, he? but he does. He had a good run when he was on loan for about eight games. Then we bought him, and it happened is he, again. Is the case with him his attitude as well? You think? No, I don't think it's his attitude. I think no. he's he work, he's a hard worker. He works up and down, but for some reason, maybe it's end product. Ronald Koeman hasn't seen it. This is someone for them to publicly come out and say I won him in January. That's quite a big statement to make. Yeah. You know, Koeman is. He's very straight talking, as he's upset quite a few Evertonians over the last week with various things he said. But that's the way he is. He's straight talking. If he can get the pie right, then why not? You know, you're getting a player who who wouldn't have come, well, didn't want to come to Everton. He wants to go to Manchester United a couple of years ago after the World Cup. So we'd be getting someone in, try him on loan if he if he hits the ground running and he likes what he sees. You know, we're, we're trying to buy him and Schneiderlin. Is there no. a fear though that they can come to Everton and, and you're just a, a proving ground and they go back to Manchester United and start their careers again? Well, if That's he, not the type of club that you want Everton to it's, be, is it's it? It's not, but if you get someone in and he, he does well, if he goes back to Manchester United and gets in, it's because he's done well for Everton. So if he does well for Everton over the next three or four months and, and we get into think, the I Europa think League back. or whatever. won't swallow his bread. No. I don't mm. think he'll do it. Mm. When, when, you probably count him one hand how many times he's brought players back from loan. He sold Maric and then rebought him again. No, mm. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think Mourinho would have him back. Once he's gone, he's gone. I think it's a matter of trying to offload him and offload the wages if, they, if Everton don't have the money think, to buy at him. The, at the end of the day, it, it's about him, isn't it? The lad's yeah. at 22 now. He's, he's had a go with United. hasn't really worked. He's got to get his put some roots down, start producing. Like you say, he came in in a, in a kind of blaze of glory. This kid, you know, he's fast. He's going to do this. And he was, I seen him bouncing around with his tracky on, looking know, great, yeah. 18 cars and all that. And it hasn't worked for him. So now... If you're him, he's going to get the money anyway. He's going to make money throughout. He doesn't need to come to Everton yeah. and try and make extra money. The money will be there for him. He'll be well paid. It's about doing it on the pitch. And if he does mm. it on the pitch, like Robbie said before, if he gets it right on the pitch, all the other trappings come with that anyway. So I think, I think part of the problem is, right, if you look at the modern sort of style of football, so if you look at like how Liverpool are playing at the moment, Tottenham, Arsenal, you know, it's not just about you know, when you're one of them front three players, about having loads of skills on it, that's mm -hmm. obviously, that's very important. We want to score goals. But you've got to work mm. yeah. as well. And if, especially when you're not, it's not quite clicking. Even more, the fans, the manager want to see work rate from you. And Depay just strikes me as that type of guy that he ain't into tracking back. Yeah. And getting back and putting in the, the so ugly he, side he of the game. He thinks he's above it all. Yeah, yeah, he feels that, you know, I want the ball to come to me and I'll try and make something happen. And that's all very well and good. But you've got to have that other side to your game now. You know what I mean? There, yeah. There's so much being expected of front players now. More than ever before. That, you know, Even the, more the, so the, with Mourinho. I think yeah, Manny, right and Mourinho, of course, we always know. He's always wanted yeah. and demanded that of his um, players that play up front. And I just... Look at Depay, and he doesn't strike as that sort of guy that will give you that. And when he was at 20, all right, yeah, you're the main man. So, he did, you know, it's almost like a bit like Ronaldo is at, you know, Real Madrid, where nobody even looks to him to track that because he's the main man. Yeah. But when you come to a team like Manchester United, where you're no longer the main man, you need to put more work into it. And he just hasn't done it. Yeah. And, yeah, maybe a move to Everton, that... To me, it makes complete sense. Yeah. I mean, I can't see him getting into United, even if he went on loan. I can't see they've got so much players, wing players. I just can't, it's going to be like Yana, what happened with Yana's? Go on, go on Bash. Oh, I just think that that's what Cumin wants. He's already come out, but he's had a go at Morales, he's had a go at Delafeu, he's, he's had a go at Ross Barkley, he's had a go at yeah. Lukaku about pressing from the front. So the pie's not going to come in and be able to get away with it. So Cumin's yeah. obviously thinks he can get that out of him. 
for him to publicly come out. He hasn't just said, well, you know, we'll see what's, what happens in January. Maybe he's a player we look at. He said, I'd love to work with him. And Keane's, got, Keane's got a field. great track record with his transfers mm -hmm. as well. Liverpool mm -hmm. fans know that because of the players that he bought at Southampton and then mm -hmm. we've had to go and buy them off him. Plus, it's a yeah. loan, isn't it? So if, yeah. he, if he comes for a few months and he don't do it, you just yeah, send him back. back. Yeah. Be interesting. I, I, you know, I, I kind of hope for, for for Everton that he does go to Everton and does produce the goods. And you know, I suppose for his career, I don't really want him to succeed at Manchester United, but I think he's got the talent to succeed. Shock. I know, but there you go. Anyway, uh, we've got more social club to come. We're going to be talking about Gareth Southgate and if he is the right man for the England job in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe to Ball Street so you get the videos first.